Hello my dear students. Welcome to online classes of mathematics with Vila Swester. So are we ready? Today our topic is triangle, quadrilateral and polygons. So let's begin with some of the flashback or throwback. In the previous classes we learned about parallel lines, perpendicular lines, perpendicular bisectors, types of angles like acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle and reflex angle and along with that we also constructed a bisector of the angle. Now we come to the learning outcome. What we will be able to learn after the chapter. You will be able to define what is a triangle and then you will be able to differentiate the types of triangles on the basis of sides and angles. And also we will be dealing about and you will be uh, knowing to construct the triangles by these three side side side, side angle side, angle side angle. But here we will be only discussing about side side side, we will be only constructing and the quadrilaterals rectangle. Now what is a triangle? A triangle is a closed figure with the three sides and the sum of the inter angles of the triangle is 180. So when you see this, it's a closed figure with the three sides 1, 2, 3 and you know that the angles made here, when you add all the angles, it will be equal to 180 degree. Now, we come to the classification of triangle by the sides. Equilateral triangle, the triangle with equal sides of length with each other. That means all these three sides are equal. 5, 5, 5. This means this is equilateral triangle here. Another thing is that all the internal angles of the equilateral triangle measures 60 degree remember and in the symbol what we do AB equals to BC equals to CA then we come to the isosceles triangle where at least two sides are equal with each other at least two sides so these are the length that should be equal these are the base angles and you know that the base angles of the isosceles triangle will be equal. This will be always equal. So if this is 45, this will be also 45. Now, scalene triangle. A scalene triangle is a triangle in which all the three sides have different length 6, 8, 10. They have different. And along with that, the angles are also different. So is that all? No. We have to talk about the triangles on the basis of angles. Now the triangles on the basis of their angles. Now acute angle triangle. An acute angle triangle is a triangle with three acute angles. So you know what is acute angles means? That is always less than 90 degree. So this here 62, 75, 43. They three are less than 90 degree. So that means this triangle is called acute angle triangle. Now see here angle A, B, C. Angle A, B, C. This angle measures 40 degrees. So in that way we can write the or this one. Now right angled triangle where at least the triangle with the right angle that means at least one angle will be 90 degree. As you can see in the set squares that you have the longer one measures here 90 degree this is also a right angled triangle. Here this is also called right angled triangle. Now we come to the obtuse triangle triangle. So a triangle whose any one of the angle is obtuse angle that means that is more than 
90 degree so this angle here is more than 90 degree but these are less than 90 degree so that means this triangle is called obtuse angle triangle and you know that when we add the interior three angles of the triangle it will be equal to 180 degree now we come to the polygon so polygon at least they should have three sides with it so if the number of side is three then we call that as triangle when the side number of sides are four one two three four we call that as a quadrilateral if there's five pentagon six hexagon seven heptagon and eight octagon and so on now we come to the construction of triangle by using compass so what we do first we take a b line segment of six centimeter then we set our compass to seven centimeter as shown in the figure and then from a you will be drawing the arc like this in the same way you will be draw, you will be measuring four centimeter and from the other side you'll be cutting the arc here and what you'll be doing you'll be joining from point a to c and b to c and here you go this triangle is complete now we come to the construct of a rectangle so here you need to remember that eb measures six centimeter that means you have to draw a line segment of six centimeter then at b you have to construct 90 degree so like this half 60 120 and then from this point you cut it here without changing the size of the compass and here like this and you draw a straight line that will be 90 degree that means now see here bc measures how much 4.5 so that means make your compass measure 4.5 from the scale and from here you cut to this point and you know that the rectangle opposite sides are always equal so without changing the size of 4.5 measurement from this point you cut it here and then ab is 6 centimeter you measure 6 centimeter from here you cut it here and you join this all points and then you will get a rectangle so finally we complete our lesson now it's a quiz time let's have some fun so here are the some of the questions that you need to answer thank you